Well, France is in the grip of a second wave of COVID-19 infections. More than 30,000 infections were reported in a span of 24 hours on Thursday. President Emmanuel Macron has announced a nighttime curfew, but the healthcare workers are unhappy with the government response as the pandemic has reared its head again. How prepared is France in dealing with the rising cases? This report tells you more. This is central Paris. Hundreds of doctors, nurses and medical workers belonging to different trade unions marched close to the Eiffel Tower. They raised slogans denouncing President Emmanuel Macron's response to the rising infections. With over 800,000 cases of infections and 33,000 deaths, France is grappling with a second wave of COVID-19. But the medical staff allege that France has not added any more emergency beds. We have had no extra beds since the first wave. In fact, it's just as if the first wave had never happened. And so we will repeat the same things with the same problems in two weeks' time in our hospital. Many of the healthcare workers wore scrubs and surgical masks. They carried banners which read, hire more, train more. Condemning the government's sluggish response, the doctors complained of long and exhausting working hours and inadequate wages for the extra hours of work. There's a lot of anger amongst us. President Emmanuel Macron made promises, but he only gave us a bonus. That does not replace the need in staff in our units. What we need is more people in our teams because we are saturating here. COVID-19 patients already occupy nearly half of all intensive care beds in the greater Paris region. Hospitals have cancelled a third of all non-COVID-19 procedures. Presently, France has a total of 12,000 emergency ICU beds with ventilators. But the bigger challenge is an acute shortage of trained medical staff. During the first wave of COVID-19 in March, volunteers swelled the ranks of staff. Most medical students were pushed to handle emergency wards. But in the second wave, the desire to volunteer has flagged amid fear, uncertainty and exhaustion. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.